Wildlife management areas are open to hunting and trapping and fishing, things like bird watching or foraging or just general exploring. I really like hunting wildlife management areas. My name is Sarah Boyden. I'm a regional wildlife biologist with Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. You'll find me out there. You'll see me out there during deer season. As a hunter myself, sometimes we struggle to find places that are accessible to the public. And so one of the goals that the department has in maintaining these wildlife management areas is allowing access. So we really want people to be able to enjoy it, make use of it, have the ability to hunt and fish and trap. We have roughly 110,000 acres and a variety of wildlife habitats. And wildlife management areas are permanently set aside for public access. If you want to hunt on a wildlife management area, the first place to start really, if you're not familiar with the property, is to look at our web maps on our website, mefishwildlife.com slash WMA. And each one is different, so it's really worth exploring. For example, we're here in a grassland bird habitat in Mercer, Maine. We manage for grassland bird habitat. We manage for deer wintering area forest birds, wetland habitat, um, just a whole variety. Each wildlife management area has a great description. It has how to access the property, what features you can find on a property, what's allowed on a property. Um, and that's your starting point. And from there, you really want to go and explore. Many of these properties are sort of primitive, so they don't have trail systems. And it really takes just getting on the ground, scouting for sign or great places to hunt. Um, and it, it's, it's entirely wide open to, you know, how you want to access it and, and use it. So we really want people to be able to enjoy it, make use of it, have the ability to hunt and fish and trap. The only thing that we ask is that you get a permit for fixed tree stands, a permit for bear baits, or you label your game cameras. So climbing tree stands that you'll take down every day, you don't need a permit. But if you are going to deploy a, a fixed tree stand for the entire hunting season, you want to reach out to a regional wildlife office and contact can be found in the back of your hunting law book. Um, and those permits are free and you can have it for the whole season. So we ask that you label those with your name and address. If you wish to have a bear bait, not all wildlife management areas have space for a bear bait, but some do. And you want to reach out to your regional wildlife biologist to see where baits are available um, and what permits are available as well. Game cameras can be deployed on wildlife management areas and we ask that you label those with your name and address. So just like anywhere else in the state of Maine, you need to be following the rules and regulations that can be found in Maine's law books. Other than that, enjoy and have fun.